Could olive oil impact hair growth? Well, I'm sure that if you're on this video, you are wondering that exact question. So in this video, we're gonna look at what olive oil is, we're gonna look at how it can potentially impact the hair growth cycle, we're gonna look at some scientific research that used olive oil to see how well it improved hair growth, uh, we're gonna tell you how you can start supplementing with olive oil, uh, and then we've got a brief conclusion for you. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here, and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. If you are new here, uh, we make tons of science-backed YouTube videos all about how you can regrow healthy hair, just like this one. So if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe. So what you're gonna learn about today in this video is we're gonna look at what olive oil is. We're gonna look at olive oil and its direct impact on the hair growth cycle. We're gonna talk about upregulation of growth factor gene expression. Then we're gonna look at the stimulation of the WNT10B beta catenin signaling pathway. What a mouthful. Then we've got uh, scalp inflammation and olive oil. We're gonna look at the link between those two things. Then we're gonna talk about how you can start implementing olive oil as a treatment for hair loss. Then we'll talk about the side effects and then we've got a conclusion. So we've got loads to go through. Uh, let's get into it. First things first guys, what is olive oil? So commonly used in the culinary arts as a frying oil or salad dressing, olive oil is an oil obtained from the olive crop. This highly valued tree crop originating from the Mediterranean basin is made into oil through the process of pressing. Beyond its use in the kitchen, olive oil has made a name for itself in the cosmetics and homeopathic industries and has been used medicinally for thousands of years. From the banks of the Nile to the birthplace of democracy, olive oil has enjoyed a high status and widespread usage. And now as more individuals are turning to natural and organic cures for their ills, olive oil is uh, being celebrated as a miracle of sorts. From its, inability, for, sorry, from its ability to moisturize the scalp, to use it as a hair growth stimulator. Now we're going to look at olive oil's direct impact on the hair growth cycle. A recent study performed by Tong, Kim and Park shows that oleuropine, a component found in the leaves of the olive tree, induces anagen hair growth in telogen mouse skin. But to understand the importance of this finding, it's first required that you understand the hair growth cycle. So there are three phases within the hair growth cycle. The first is the anagen phase, and this is the phase of active growth and rapid cell division. The second phase is the catagen phase, and this phase is transitional and allows for the newly grown hair sheath to properly attach to its root. Then we've got the phase three, which is the telogen phase, and this phase is known as the resting phase, where shedding typically occurs. During this phase of the cycle, healthy individuals will lose 25 to 100 hairs per day on average. Now, in individuals who suffer from alopecia, the anagen phase of hair growth cycle is significantly shortened. As the length of hair is proportional to the length of the anagen phase, the shorter this phase becomes, the shorter which the hair is produced. Eventually, those with alopecia are left with hair which is too short to poke through the hair follicle, leading to thinning and baldness. Now, in this particular study, 24 mice were split into three groups of eight. The backs of the mice were shaved at eight weeks of age, and the telogen phase of the hair growth cycle was confirmed. For 28 days, each mouse received a 200 unit application of either control, Control plus 0.4 milligram concentration of aluropen, uh, or control plus 3 milligram concentration of minoxidil. The control consisted of 50% ethanol, 30% water, and 20% propylene glycol. The mice were photographed on days 0, 7, 14, 21, and 28, and 10 random hairs from each mouse were measured on the same schedule. Now, it's no surprise that the hairs in the aluropen treated group were longer than those in the control group. However, it is surprising that the uh, all European treated group also had better results than the mice in the minoxidil treated group. So what caused such drastic results? So we can see like some images here. The control group on the left where well, it appears like none of the mice regrew any hair. Uh, and then we've got the OP group, which is basically the olive oil group. Uh, and then we can see some really great regrowth there. And then it's all plotted on a, on a graph to the right there. And we can see that um, Minoxidil is just slightly underperforming uh, the OP group, which so is, is overpowered minoxidil in this particular study. So now we're going to look at the upregulation of the growth factor gene expression. So at the end of the 28 day study, skin samples of the mice were examined. In I'm going to say OL from now on. So in the OL treated group, the mice had a significant increase in the mRNA levels of four separate growth factors. Uh, 
which are labeled there. Now, in fact, compared to mice treated with only the control, the mice in the OL treated group saw a 71% increase in dermal IGF-1 levels. Each of the mentioned growth factors plays their own role in the growth and development of hair follicles. IGF-1, for example, is known to regulate cell proliferation, which occurs rapidly during hair follicle formation. There's no doubt that the upregulation of growth factor gene expression played a significant role in the study's results. But there's another reason that treatment for hair growth proved to be so effective in the OL treated group of mice. So now we're going to look at the stimulation of the WNT10B beta ketonine signaling pathway. And for short, I'm going to say WNT from now on. In a 2010 research study published in Developmental Cell, it was discovered that the deletion of the beta catenin gene in dermal papilla cells of fully developed hair follicles led to the premature induction of the catagen phase in mice. Furthermore, the WNT signaling pathway seems to play a role in the maintenance of the anagen phase. In the OL treated group of mice mentioned in the previous study, Researchers found that not only was there an increase in the mRNA levels of different growth factors, but OL also led to the modulation of the WNT catenin pathway. This pathway, proven to prolong the antigen phase, is largely responsible for the significant hair growth seen in the mice. Now let's have a quick look at scalp inflammation and olive oil. Now certain forms of alopecia are caused by the inflammation of the scalp. This inflammation can be caused by a weakened immune system, allergies, or any other number of circumstances. Whatever the source of the inflammation, the fact remains that chronic inflammation can be damaging to the hair follicles and induce premature hair thinning and loss. As was shown in a 2008 randomized trial, the daily ingestion of virgin olive oil led to a decrease in circulating concentrations uh, of interleukin-6 a known pro-inflammatory and C-reactive protein, a responsive protein that indicates inflammation within the body. But what makes olive oil such a powerful treatment option for inflammation? And are these results external as well as internal? Well, oleon canthal, a phenolic compound within virgin olive oil, seems to be the underlying reason for olive oil's effective treatment of inflammation and inflammatory diseases. Now, Phenolic compounds can be found within a number of plant-based foods, such as chili peppers, oregano, and sesame seeds. Oleocanthal, however, is unique to virgin olive oil, and its various components are present within its very name. Oleo, olive, canth, sting, and al, aldehyde. This unique compound uh, is responsible for the irritating sensation felt by most individuals in the back of their throat when olive oil is directly consumed. <laughs> Interestingly, this very attribute is believed to be felt most strongly in individuals who are particularly sensitive to the positive effects of oleocanthal. And while this phenolic compound and is, is structurally uh, dissimilar to ibuprofen, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, both compounds inhibit the very same enzymes in the pro prostag prostaglandin biosynthesis pathway, which triggers inflammation. Now, as a natural inhibitor uh, of this enzyme, there's no wonder that oleocanthal plays such a large role in the reduction of inflammation. Does this mean that the use of olive oil can reduce inflammation of the scalp for individuals with alopecia? Now, as previously discussed, oleocanthal reduces the circulating concentrations of interleukin-6 and other inflammation-causing enzymes. This means that the anti-inflammatory effects are seen throughout the body, which makes oleocanthal a viable option for individuals looking to reduce scalp inflammation and irritation. So, how can you start using olive oil as a treatment for hair loss? Olive oil is a commonly ingested oil and ingestion of two tablespoons per day can be tolerated in those looking to supplement, though up to one liter per week has been safely used as part of a Mediterranean diet. Of course, you may also wish to use topical products such as shampoos, conditioners, and hair masks that contain olive oil. So you may want to take olive oil and why not? It could be an effective thing to add to your hair care routine, but what are the side effects? While side effects associated with olive oil supplementation are few and far between, uh, there are those individuals who may need to consult with their doctor prior to supplementation. Such individuals include those with diabetes, low blood pressure, and those currently taking high blood pressure medications. The consumption of olive oil can lower both blood sugar and blood pressure, and even with the consent of your physician, individuals with diabetes or low blood pressure should monitor their levels closely. Contact dermatitis or an allergic skin reaction is rare. 
However, those with allergies may develop a skin rash similar to eczema and should cease supplementation immediately. As always, women who are pregnant or nursing should consult with their uh, physician to ensure the safety of supplementation. So, is olive oil treatment right for you? There are a few studies which suggest olive oil may play a role in hair and scalp health and possibly even promote hair growth. But does this mean that olive oil is the right treatment for you? While olive oil supplementation may certainly have its benefits, uh, it's unlikely to treat your hair loss condition by itself. To do this, you'll need to fix the underlying cause of your thinning and loss. Only once you're addressing uh, such a problem on the head can you see favorable results for such treatment as olive oil. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you on olive oil today. Again, it's going to take a multi-pronged approach. There's going to be no magical cure to cure to curing hair loss. It's always going to take like multiple factors. Olive oil may be something that you wish to add. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.